In the mid to late 1950s, the need for a faster, higher flying reconnaissance aircraft became apparent. The Soviets were frantically trying to down the American U-2 aircraft, which were regularly flying over Soviet territory. They succeeded in 1960 when their air defense system shot down Francis Gary Powers. U-2 flights over Soviet territory stopped. Luckily for U.S. intelligence, the effort to replace the U-2 was already underway and the project bore fruit in the 1960s with the A-12 aircraft flying recon missions over Vietnam for the CIA. The U.S. Air Force ordered a similar but more evolved version, which became the SR-71, or Blackbird, we know today. The black paint was formulated to absorb radar signals, throw off heat generated by air friction, and to camouflage the aircraft against the dark skies. All facets of the aircraft were designed and engineered with radar deception as the paramount goal. The SR-71 had many unique qualities, among them its tendency to leak fuel while on the ground. The fuel tanks had a special sealant, which would eventually break down, causing some leakage. Once the aircraft was at altitude, the seams would tighten up due to the heat generated by friction, and the problem would disappear. The amazing SR-71 successfully avoided interception with its Mach 3 speed and its ability to cruise at 85,000 feet. No aircraft was ever lost due to enemy action. The aircraft performed successfully over Asia, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe until the 1990s. By that time, the improvement in reconnaissance satellites, threats from more advanced ground-based missile systems, and continuing conflict over congressional budgets combined to cause the Blackbird to fly into the history books. This incredible aircraft remains one of the premier achievements of the United States Aerospace Program. The pilots who flew it were the best in the business.